In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite passing concepts from the U-Trips meta offense in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we're talking about the gun Y off trips pats formation or the U trips formation from the New England Patriots playbook. And if you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide that not only breaks down the U trips, but it actually breaks down every single formation in the New England Patriots playbook, then you can get that offensive guide down in the description of this video. The play we're talking about today is the play curl flat and or curl flats. And we're going to give you two setups that I like to use for this. The first setup we're gonna give you is more of a spacing concept, really underneath passing. And then the second concept that we're gonna be giving you in this video is um, more of a shot play or a deep uh, deep play type of uh, concept. So curl flats. And there's several different ways that you can set this play up. This play is a very versatile passing concept. What we're gonna do to start off is just, you notice here, um, I've got my trips formation to the wide side of the field. I think that that's a kind of a staple uh, of any good trips offense. You're gonna have that trips to the wide side of the field most of the time because it's gonna give you a little bit better spacing on the field. Now, uh, as far as this concept and how we're gonna utilize this, what I like to do is I like to put the square receiver on a hitch and I'm actually gonna motion the square receiver to the outside and it's gonna give me re really, really good spacing uh, on, this con on, on this passing play. Um, and then another adjustment that I like to do, this is for the first setup, which is, again, spacing, okay? Spacing is key. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end or the X receiver on a curl route, and we're going to put the R1 receiver on a flat route, okay? So we're just going to flip-flop their assignment. And what this is going to do is it's going to consistently hold the user in the middle of the field. It's going to pull the zones really quickly and allow us to make an easy read. So our first read every single time is this hitch route on the left side. And I can honestly throw this pretty much against every coverage in the game. If they're in zone, I can throw the hitch. If they're in zone, I can throw the hitch. If they're in zone, I can throw the hitch. Pretty much there's not a zone coverage in this game that is going to be very effective at stopping this hitch route. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, real quick. I'm going to put a hook curl here from this guy, a vertical hook, a hard flat, or, or um, a, a purple zone. And I've got my, my zones at, you know, kind of 10 yards for the, the curls. And you don't have to put the tight end on a curl if you don't want to. I just like it because it keeps the spacing of the offense. Another way that you could run it if you wanted to, if you have a hot route master, is you could put the tight end on a post route as well. It's going to continue to hold their user in the middle of the field. But as you'll see here, there's nothing, again, nothing in the game will stop that hitch. That motion out hitch, when paired with a tail route from the back, is really, really hard to stop to the short side of the field. Now, uh, I'm just gonna go to a standard or a traditional uh, Tampa 2 style defense. I'm gonna put the defensive end here in a purple zone to get him out there a little bit more. And again, I'm putting square on a hitch, motioning him out. We're not gonna do anything to the right side. You don't even have to, you really don't have to do anything to that side. But you're going to see again, square, wide open, easy read for six to seven yards. I love this concept and I love this offense because it's a dink and dunk offense. It's an offense that's going to be very effective at taking the underneath, taking the underneath, taking the underneath. And that hitch route is really, uh, really successful at getting open. Now, I want to talk really quickly about what you can do if they are sending some heavy pressure at you. So, for example, something like this defense right here is pretty heavy pressure they're going to get down here with their user and uh, try to make a try to make an easy you know you know a quick stop so what you can do uh, from this play whenever you motion the square receiver out it's going to really improve the spacing and so if you see pressure from this middle linebacker all you're going to do is just pass lead up this route to the running back and then you're just going to truck up field and get a couple yards really really quickly another thing that i can do again because of the fact that their pressure they have to kind of sit and they have to come down in this little gap right here um, to be able to get the pressure out of U trips. They really have to get down and uh, in the middle of the field with their user. And so what this is gonna allow is at the snap of the ball, if I start to sense that there's a lot of pressure coming at me, then what I can simply do here is I can just trust this hitch. Just trust, and of course I say that, I throw a pick. Trust the hitch. So 
what I mean by that is if they are if they are coming down on on this what you're gonna notice is you're gonna either have your your running back route or you're gonna have your hitch route so again I'm gonna sit like right here with my user and at the snap of the ball I'm just going to trust that one of those two are gonna get open okay so I'm gonna look to the left side I see oh the running backs wide open so I'm just gonna take the running back and get a feel typically the running backs gonna get open especially against the blitz okay now what they might do is they might do something you know something like this right here where they're gonna run some man coverage on the side maybe they even bring this guy down a little bit to help out in the man coverage um, and in that example if they jump to the running back at the snap of the ball then you're just going to trust your hitch route right there and take an easy little check down read. Another thing that you can do if they're sending pressure at you um, is typically your route to your tight end if you want, or um, not your tight end, your uh, slot. So if you have your slot receiver on this post, if you leave him on this post, or if you put the tight end on a curl, um, but you're just gonna see, they're gonna pull these flats out of the way and we can just low ball that post route right against the pressure relatively easily. So that's the first setup. Um, one last thing I want to talk touch on just really briefly is if they really are um, just doing a lot of uh, a lot of yellow zones. So if they got two yellow zones on the field, and what you can do against that is this circle receiver uh, is going to basically just settle up, passing down and low. Now again, really quickly, Brady doesn't have Gunslinger, so Gunslinger is going to be a lot easier of a throw for you. Um, but basically what you're going to do, and, and also you have to remember that we are we do have our purple zones on 10. Um, it's going to be a lot easier if they're on 5. Most people are going to have them on 5. Um, but you are basically going to have a high-low on the right. So what I can do, you see how he'll drift back right there? I could just pass that to the left and take my 5 yards if I wanted to, Okay. Um, but what you can also do is you can throw this ball to circle. You just have to really be like sharp on, in terms of how you're going to throw this. So what I mean by that is um, you're going to really throw this inside. So I'm stepping up in the pocket. I'm inside pass leading, and I, I can't quite get it with Brady. But um, but but anyways, you, you, you should be able to get that just fine. Another thing that you can do if you want to do this um, is the double curl. So uh, the reason I like the double curl is I could take R, I could even do R1 on a curl if I wanted. So I got two curl routes. The spacing from U trips is pretty good, and you'll see. And of course, I have to ride at the defensive end, but um, it's going to force them to have to have that yellow at five. So then that's going to open up some other things as the plays go on. So, for example, if we start to notice that they're dropping people back like that or they're really getting them deep, deep, deep back and they're taking away our curl routes, that's where we can put the R1 receiver on a hitch. And then we can put uh, – and then we can basically go like that. And you'll see that this hitch to the RB, low ball, easy read. So if they start to really take away the, the, the curl flat – concept then you can go to that little hitch right there and just trust that and and, and, and work the ball up the field against that if, if you're having too many issues but the where it all starts man i'm telling you is this little hitch right here this motion out hitch is lethal um it's really really good against zone it's really hard to stop like there's not a zone in the game that i know of that's going to be able to consistently stop that and then the cool part that you can do is like let's say they're running like let's say they're running like you know press shaded underneath me really trying to get underneath on this um you're going to notice that we're going to get this little man switch on the left side uh, and what that's going to mean is you're going to see here that i can low ball inside the route to godwin once the running back kind of shoots through it uh, i can hit that the other thing is now again you have to remember where their user is at on the play and their user typically against man like if i read man coverage I'm almost always going to the circle receiver um, because it's a really consistent man press beater. Now, and, and typically their user is going to be on the on the on the post route. Okay, so uh, we don't have time to get into the second setup for curl flat in this video, uh, but we'll talk about this in another video. But basically, what we're going to do in our in our next breakdown of U trips is we're going to basically show you how to completely glitch out 30 yard cloud flats and be able to take advantage of this very powerful post route 
on the sideline. So we'll show you that in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. And if you want to learn the full U-Trips offensive guide, uh, I'm going to put a link to both the New England guide and then also to just the U-Trips guide. The U-Trips guide is only 10 bucks, and uh, it's also really, really, really in-depth and high level. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get one of the guides, they're going to be linked down in the description.